Restoring old furniture is a great way to save money, the environment, and have fun at the same time. When you find a piece that works right for you, it often has a finish that needs removing. How to remove? For years now, GraphicsOff has been used in successfully removing decals, adhesives, epoxies, as well as latex or oil-based paints and varnishes. This dresser's got great bones. I love the shape of the drawers, how the doors are inset, and these corbels here. And we'll be repurposing it as a coffee hutch for our shop. But we need to remove this old pink paint and the varnish beneath so we can prime and paint it in the mustard color we're looking at. Here's what we'll be using for our removal project. First of all, some plastic mask material that we'll put down in the area of the furniture so that we can protect the floor. Secondly, some vinyl gloves to protect our hands. Of course, safety glasses to protect our eyes from spatter. And then to apply the graphics off, we're going to be using a natural bristle brush, in this case a 3 inch for the area that we're going to be covering. A surface safe graphics off blade to scrape the product as well as a scuff pad in order to remove any residue that may be left on the furniture. As well as the Graphics Off product. In this case, we'll probably be using two 16 ounce bottles for the area of coverage. As you can see, I've elevated the dresser from the floor so it'll make it a bit easier to apply. And there's also plastic sheeting on the floor to protect from the drips. As you can see, I've removed the doors and drawers as I'll be doing them separately. And for the purposes of this video, I'll only do the top to show you how easy it is. Due to the fact that GraphicSoft has very little, if any, odor, you can do your removal project indoors or outside, whatever you prefer. However, make sure that the temperature is at least 60 degrees and that you're out of the sun so as to not prematurely dry out the GraphicSoft gel. I'll simply pour on a bit of the graphics off gel and with my 3 inch natural bristle brush I'll spread the product around so as to build up a layer of graphics off to an approximate sixteenth of an inch thickness. Don't be afraid to get it too thick. Graphics off will work just that much quicker. Now simply take your brush and just even out the coat. Now we simply wait. So what we're technically waiting for is for the graphics off gel to work into the layers of paint in an effort to release adhesion from the substrate in this case the original wood. Testing scrapability every 10 minutes or so is a good idea and it'll help you gauge how much longer you need to leave the gel on the furniture. Okay so about 20-25 minutes have gone by since we coated the dresser with graphics off and you can see how the paint is really crinkling up. With it being time to scrape, go ahead and scrape the loose layers into a pile here. I like taking the old paint and putting it into a used paint can so I can dispose of it responsibly later on. I see areas like right here that may need a second coat and that's okay because we can go ahead and Put a light second coat on so as to remove any residue.
Boy, gorgeous wood. But here I go applying a, a light coat on the residue, which will remove the rest of it. So after another 10 to 15 minutes of dwell time, I'm scraping the rest of the paint and varnish residue off the dresser. You can see this dark gel is the varnish that's coming off the original wood. Now with all the paint and varnish removed, we simply suggest wetting the area and scrubbing with a 3M scuff pad. This helps in removing any paint or gel residue from the wood. Wow, from what I see of this green, I just may choose to varnish this top rather than paint it. It's beautiful. Done. Now after I'm done with the rest of the piece, I'll simply let it dry thoroughly, sand the surfaces with a light grit sandpaper, and go ahead with my prime and paint procedures. A 100% biodegradable, eco-friendly, no odor gel, Graphics Off will make your paint and varnish removal virtually effortless and safe. Thanks for watching and have fun with your project.